Hi, this is Ashley Swartz. I'm here with BTV at our first event at CES in 2013. We're at the Samsung First Look, which is a press-only kind of VIP event at the Mandalay Bay Mixed Lounge on the 64th floor. You can see the great view behind me of the Strip in Vegas. So you walk in, first thing we see, 85-inch ultra high definition, four times 1080 DPI television with a 100-watt sound system. Samsung definitely took us by storm. It is the largest on market. But they talked about not only this Ultra HD being the largest, but the fact they're going to actually be investing in their LED, LED line into 85, 95, 110 inch, etc. So they're going bigger, better, and better, believing that, again, what we saw last year at CES was that, you know, folks are going to buy TVs because of 3D. They're not going to buy TV because of connected environments or smart TV. They're going to buy it because of design and definition. So Samsung led with and put first foot forward, design and definition first and foremost. Foremost, We saw the rest of their LED lines on. One of the things that's really interesting is that they're starting to try and tackle the problem of discovery. So there's kind of an, a unanimous uh, sentiment in the industry right now that this whole idea of a connected environment and a linear environment, the fact that they're now finally talking to one another, when are we going to start to have real impact on cracking the challenge of discovery, right? Whether it's VOD that is delivered over the top or on IP, or it's what's coming a linear stream and it's VOD from your, um, your cable provider. At the end of the day, the challenge of finding what to watch, when to watch it, depending on what kind of mood you're in and what you want to see or what actors you like, is still something that a, a traditional old school EPG doesn't deliver. Samsung is tackling that with its recommendation engine. The new remotes are a multi-directional touch as well as they use voice and gesture control. Um, they become much more sort of uh, organic in the touch control in that it's a much natural, uh, much more natural user interface. The man machine interface also, um, the, the smart TV UI has a main menu that says on top that allows you to navigate to and from a social sort of scrubbing recommendation which it basically looks at your YouTube, your Facebook, your social feeds and says what are other people watching and then takes you to what's on TV now and what's coming up with a recommendation engine as well as then take you to their app environment and to other VOD um, which is actually a feed that pulls from Netflix, from uh, Hulu, wherever you've actually subscribed and you're a proven subscriber, it pulls it all into one sort of socialized VOD location that is bespoke and customized for you as a viewer. There's incredible things here. I can't wait to see their LED lineup on the CES floor, but we're incredibly privileged to have been here. This is going to be a great show. Samsung is leading off with a big bang, and it, there's going to be a lot more wonderful announcements to come. We're very privileged to have been invited about 24 hours before the embargo sets, and we're going to keep our lips sealed until then. Thanks.